WhatsApp from Busy. In this presentation, we will discuss that how you can send WhatsApp messages from Busy. You can send invoices, reports, ledgers to your parties and to your own mobile number also. Here we would like to tell that WhatsApp does not allow sending messages to it through third party software, but it does allow sending messages one by one to its desktop version in a restricted manner. Under this presentation, we'll discuss the download and installation of WhatsApp web setup, configuration required in Busy, and sending WhatsApp messages from Busy. So the whole process is divided basically into three steps. Step one, download and install WhatsApp web setup on your desktop. Step two, configuration in Busy. And step three, sending WhatsApp messages from Busy. So we'll start with our step one, that is download and install WhatsApp web setup on your desktop. First, we would like to tell that prerequisite for installing WhatsApp web setup is 64-bit operating system with Windows 7 and above. However, in case you have 32-bit operating system, then you need to update your Windows to latest version and then you can easily install WhatsApp web setup on your computer. Website from which WhatsApp web setup is downloaded states that it can be installed on Windows 8 and above, but it can be downloaded on Windows 7 also. Basically, you need to install this WhatsApp web setup on the desktop or we can say computer on which you would be using your busy application. So the computer on which the busy application is installed, you need to download and install WhatsApp web setup on that particular computer. Once the setup is installed, then its icon would start appearing on the desktop of your computer. You need to double click this icon and you can see this particular screen will appear on your computer. Now you need to bring your mobile phone closer to this particular screen so that this QR code can be scanned by mobile easily. Once this QR code is scanned by your mobile, you can see your WhatsApp will start appearing on your computer. You can see all your contacts and the WhatsApp screen which appears on your mobile. With a similar screen and similar WhatsApp is appearing now on your computer. After installing WhatsApp web setup, our next step would be the configuration in Busy. That is the configuration required in Busy. So first of all, we'll go to administration, configuration, SMS API configuration. If you have uh, earlier sent SMS through Busy, then you must be knowing this process. Sending WhatsApp process is also totally similar. We are using same screen. It's just we will be specifying a WhatsApp API here. Under this screen, first of all, you need to create a new format. Here we are creating a format with the name WA. You can give any name of your choice. Then at the right hand side, you can see an option upload PDF. Enable this option if you want to send PDF attachments also. Basically, the link for the PDF attachment will be sent in the message. And when the user will click that link, he would be able to open the PDF attachment. Next is SMS API. Under this section, you need to specify the WhatsApp API. This particular API will be provided to you by the WhatsApp and its continuity is totally dependent on WhatsApp itself. After that, you need to specify the parameter name for mobile and message. Here we are specifying the mobile as phone number. That is parameter name for mobile is phone number and for message it's message. Please note this information that is the parameter name are case sensitive. So enter it very carefully. Next, click the save button to save this configuration. On clicking the save button, Busy is showing a message that configured API belongs to WhatsApp. For sending messages, please install WhatsApp desktop version, which we have already covered in earlier part of this presentation. Then it's saying that API doesn't work in background and WhatsApp desktop will pop up every time a message is sent to it. It means that WhatsApp desktop version service will not run in the background and whenever you'll send a message, a screen will pop up prompting you to send the message from it. That is, you need to click the send icon. Also here, it is saying that you can refer to the help videos and help documents of Busy. We are in the help video itself, but while configuring SMS API, if you have any query, any problem, you can refer to the help videos or help documents provided by Busy. Now, our next step is to configure the voucher series from which we will be sending the messages. So we'll go to administration, configuration voucher series configuration option here we are selecting the sales voucher type and its main series then clicking the voucher configuration button here an option send sms after saving is provided in which you will specify why that is yes that is yes we want to send sms after saving the voucher next click the configure button on clicking the configure button you can see an sms details window is appearing in which you need to specify the formats 
here you can configure up to four formats we are taking only one format here and we are specifying the pdf attachment format one that is pdf will be sent in which format so we are taking the standard format here next is prompt for sending sms and show sms option specify why in prompt for sending sms option if you want that busy should prompt you for sending sms after saving the voucher and then if you specify why and show sms option as sms sending options will also appear in which you can select any other format also so basically if you specify yes in this field then busy will prompt for sending sms if you specify no in this data field then sms will be sent automatically then is send to party and send to self specify yes in send to party to send whatsapp message to party and specify yes in send to self option if you want to send whatsapp to your own mobile number also and then on specifying yes in this option you need to specify the mobile number that is your mobile number on which the whatsapp message will be sent click save button to save this configuration till now we are done with our configuration part that is we have uh, done sms api configuration voucher series configuration now our next step is to make sure that we have specified whatsapp number with each of our parties for this we'll open an account master in modify mode select the party here we are assuming that you have already created your parties here in the whatsapp number field you need to specify the mobile number on which the whatsapp will be sent important point to note here is that country code must be added before the mobile number for example for country india the country code is 91 so you need to specify 91 and then the mobile number another thing to note here is that you cannot use any special character plus symbol dash symbol or any space in this whatsapp number data field that is you must not use any special character space or any symbol in the whatsapp number data field now we'll come to our third step that is sending whatsapp messages through busy here we are opening a sales voucher and selecting the main series if you remember we have just configured the main series of the sales voucher so we are taking the same series specifying header related details for the voucher party we are taking is jan traders next we are specifying the item related details specify the required bill sundries and click the save button on clicking the save button a message send sms standard format is appearing this message is appearing because we have specified yes in the prompt for sending sms option under voucher series configuration click yes button then select the format in which you want to send the message and then in the screen you can see it's showing that whether you want to message through phone or internet sms api format it's showing the same format we have just created message body text and the mobile number of the party this mobile number of the party is picked from the account master on clicking the send button you can see whatsapp screen has been pop up we have told earlier also that every time this screen will be pop up when you will send a message here you can see the link for the pdf file is also embedded in the message and you need to click the send icon to send this message so whenever the user will click this link pdf attachment will, will get open this is the thing when you are entering a voucher and saving it if you want to send whatsapp from already saved voucher then you can open the voucher in modify mode and click the sms button provided at the top of the voucher next we will be discussing that how we can send sms in bulk for this we are going to print email sms menu selecting the print utility sub menu and then selecting the inventory voucher sales option here it's asking you want to view vouchers date wise or voucher number wise we are selecting the date wise option and specifying the date range you can see the same screen is appearing here it's asking that send sms to individual party or mobile number specified below if you select the mobile number specified below option then you need to specify the mobile number here on this particular screen but if you select the individual party option then busy will pick the mobile number from the account master of the party specified in the voucher click send button and here again the whatsapp screen is appearing you need to click the send icon to send the whatsapp message next you can see a message box is appearing proceed to send next message this message box will appear for each voucher for example there are 10 vouchers in this particular date range then nine times this message box will appear every time you need to click the yes button to send the next message now we'll be viewing that how we can send ledger for this we are going to account books ledger we are sending it in the standard format for a particular party 
select the party specify the date range and click the sms button here again whatsapp screen is appearing and you need to click the send icon to send the ledger report so this is all we have to discuss in this particular presentation that is how you can download and install whatsapp web setup on your system configure the sms api voucher series configuration then make sure you have specified whatsapp number in the account master and then you are ready to send the whatsapp messages so after going through this presentation you would be able to easily send whatsapp messages from busy Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.